Look at him. He's such a tough little guy. Look at him come right up to his mom. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Hello everyone and welcome back to Ultimate Fox Simulator. And we are back with Kilala and her small family after suffering a terrible loss when her mate Thistleclaw was killed by a buffalo attack in the winter woods. We have actually welcomed in the next member of her pack, the child of Thistleclaw who has now passed away, born after he, his father died. So he'll never know his father. We have little Timber, a little boy baby fox kit. And he is a sassy little guy. Look at him. Isn't he so cute? He has a black tail. He's got this nice whitish uh, sort of grayish cover to his his back. And then let's go over and look at his coat from over here. I mean, just look at him. He's so cute. Oh my gosh, he's so tiny too. Look at you, buddy. And he's got like the tiny little face that the fox kits have. It's just adorable. All right, and we need to feed him too. So he's getting very hungry. Let's come over and eat with the family. And then Kilala needs to bring her newborn son down to the waterway. So we're actually going to pick him up. Oh, it looks like Nettle picked him up. <laughs> Nettle, what are you doing? Timber's like, no, I don't want to be carried by his older sister. So he's like getting away from her. All right, we'll have Kilala lead us out and we're gonna go straight down and get a little bit of water that's the first thing we're going to do but with a brand new baby we have entered a new chapter in the story of our fox family here in the forest kilala has gone through so much she used to have her mate thistleclaw with her he used to be a fish he had been cursed by the three-tailed fox who now kilala wants to avenge thistleclaw's family more than ever because we lost thistleclaw so kilala has interestingly enough kind of started leaning towards Oh, there's a bunny. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Use our little wisdom points. There we go. Come on. Come on. Get the bunny. Get the bunny. All right. Yes. And she leveled up again. Fantastic. But Kilala here has actually decided to start leaning towards maybe attacking the three-tailed fox in honor of Thistleclaw so that... Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Come on, Timber. So that he won't be forgotten and his, his family can finally be avenged, especially since we have his children with us. But for the most part, she is going to work on protecting and guiding her new little babies for now. And that is where we're going to leave off at season one at the end of the day. I know it's so hard. I'm not sure if I can follow through. We might have a very, very, very short break between seasons depending on how things go. Let's go ahead and bring little Timber over. We're going to let him do all of the eating. But we have done so much in such a short amount of time with this family. I am just so amazed at what we have managed to pull off. Oh, and he's playing with his sister. This is so fun. Hi, Timber. I didn't change his coat in any way. This is this is the coat he was born with. Oh, we're wrestling. Oh, Nettle is just like wrestling with her brother. Yes, and he is now leveled up. Let's see if we can give him any skill points anywhere. Uh, no available skill points just yet. I can't wait until we can give him the mark of the owl too. Maybe he already has it. Do you already have the mark of the owl, little guy? Nope, he can just make little barks at us. He doesn't have the mark of the owl just yet. Let's go ahead and find him some more food. So we're going to let Kilala kind of lead the way searching for food for her new baby today. And I'm just so happy. You guys, thank you so much. It has been so amazing to spend this first season with our foxes and to really discover what the gluten-free games have to offer. It's been amazing and i have enjoyed it so much more than i thought i would oh and there's a, a beautiful snowstorm starting now too i have enjoyed it so so much more than i thought i would and i if you guys want to continue on and we are going to be just following their story for season after season like we used to do with wolf quest then i'm totally for that there's so much potential here there's just so much available for all of the different tales that can be told the drama that can happen the different skills that you can assign all of the animals it's just fantastic all right let's go ahead pounce and attack all right be careful little one i really don't want timber to get it into his head that he needs to help fight right now all right but timber this whole or this whole deer all for you little buddy so let's go ahead and let him eat there you go hopefully this will help him level up pretty quickly it's been so long since we've had a tiny little fox like this. There you go, buddy. And when he gets close to leveling up, we'll have him like snuggle with his family. Cause I think Kilala would go ahead and be like, oh, there's a little, there's a little mushroom. She's gonna just guide him to all of the different food spots now. It's just so dynamic and so interesting. The way we can just have our like parent fox like this sort of take over 
and chase down some of the other animals and then turn over and play as the child and let the child level up by like kind of gaining the food for them. I love it. I really think it's just so much fun. There we go. We're going to take it down. Perfect pounds. Oh yeah. I think it's so much fun and I, I will continue on with as many stories as you guys want in our gluten-free games. But I do think we need to kind of give some of them a bit of a break now and then. All right. And we're about to level up. So let's snuggle with mom. Till we level up yes level three fantastic oh timber you're already you're already getting there i think we'll increase his vitality because i want him to have lots of health and be super strong and then kilala is going to come over and get something to drink it's just really it's so much fun and i'm so grateful to all of you who said siri siri why don't you do this all right let's see where the next bit of food is i love how we can sense where the animals are now with this ability it's so cool but I really, really love it. So don't get upset, you guys. I always get people who are like, no, Siri, don't have a season break. But I do want to try some of the other gluten-free games for December. So we may let our foxes rest, but something really, oops, almost let her eat, and it should have been timber. But something I want to do that's going to be really, really fun. Oh, no, there's a bunch of wolves. All right, we got to get away from here because they could easily kill timber. He is prey right now. And if he dies, then we will lose Sisla Claw's other child. And I do not want to watch him die. So let's get out of here. We're going to leave those wolves alone. If Timber tries to fight and he gets attacked by the wolves, then he will die. He doesn't have a role because he's under level 10. And when they're just babies like this, when they're under level 10, then they have a chance of dying if something happens to them. So let's jump in here. And I think we have to have her eat the berries to, to show like Timber how it's done. And now we'll let Timber walk around in here and eat all the berries in the farm. This is why this is why Kilala really loves the farm. She just thinks that it's a much, much safer place to kind of raise your babies. I mean, look, he's tripping over his own paws in a berry field. This is you don't want to have him over where all the bears are at the other den, the tree den. I think that she understands how that's like Thistleclaw's traditional family den, but it's just too dangerous. It's just way too dangerous. But I do love the open world of everything to you guys. It's just, it's awesome. It's so awesome. And I've had such a great time, but I think we'll definitely come out stronger if we kind of rotate things through seasons now and then. But it depends on just how addicted we are to their stories. So if we do have a season break, which I think we're about to, don't panic. It just means that we will be trying out another one of the gluten-free games and then popping back over. Oh, and that's what I was going to say. I knew I was repeating myself for a reason. <laughs> I was going to say that one of the things I definitely want to do is try seasons after fall. That's something I wanted to do in the winter, perhaps, um, in December. And all right, let's go eat this pig right over here and use our night vision. There we go. And we're almost ready to level up again, so we might start snuggling mom in just a second here. Once he gets like up towards the very tippy end, then that's when I like to, maybe we'll play with his sister for a second while we use night vision. And the guard dog is like somewhere nearby. All right, let's see. Oh, he's, he's really coming close. Oh my gosh, is the guard dog gonna try to attack us? Kilala? Kilala? Okay, no, we're safe, we're good. All right, let's go ahead and get some chickens for the baby. All right, there's one chicken. And then maybe we'll hunt down another chicken or two. Now nah, they're all running. All right, Timber, come here. There's a chicken for you. It's still flapping, so please eat it quickly. There we go. Yes, and he leveled up. Oh, yeah, I'm so glad. We might get him out of the danger zone much, much sooner now that we actually have... Okay, no new points for him just yet. Now that Kilala is able to just, like, chase down the animals and, and hunt them really, really quickly. Now, we might eat a cow. Would I eat a cow? I would probably try eating a cow. Oh, my gosh. Maybe I shouldn't have tried eating a cow. Gosh. What the heck? Okay, maybe not. Maybe this wasn't the smartest idea. Oh my gosh, what happened there? I don't even know. Okay, let's back up. All right, cow. I'm gonna try to attack you. <laughs> Guys, don't attack a cow. Kilala has made a mistake. Kilala has definitely misestimated. Hang in there, Timber. Hang in there. I'm gonna try to get you some really good food, I guess. Let's make sure the mark of the owl is on this thing because I hope we get a lot of experience from it. All right, come on, get down. <gasps> 700 experience! Whoa! All right, little Timber. <laughs> I'm glad you stayed away. It looks like... And I guess we can click on them and command them to leave the area if it becomes too dangerous and go back to the den. Definitely should have done that because that was that was pretty... That was pretty intense. <laughs> All right, and I'm glad that you're, you're both okay. All right, good. But yes, yeah, so seasons after fall, probably coming up. 
very very soon and i want to imagine that it would actually be this fox family it would be a member of this fox family maybe kilala herself maybe one of her children like nettle or timber we'll have to see what the personality of the foxes turns out to be in seasons after fall who would be exploring and yeah we definitely will have more seasons of this and i did not plan on that when we first started playing i thought it would be just like a one-off thing and no it's it's something i've totally 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 fallen in love with and you can expect to see again and again for sure all right, let's go ahead and take her out. All right. Sorry, hens. I'm really sorry. It's really not personal. It's just you make perfect food for my child. And as we've seen, this is a very dangerous world. You can die here. Everyone's fighting for survival. All right, let's go ahead and eat. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it because it's been amazing. It's been absolutely amazing. And again, don't worry if there's just so much like, no, Siri, and still so many people watching it, like have been watching it over the last couple of weeks, then we'll come back very, very soon. Just, I think it's going to be fun to try out dragons and it's going to be fun to try out the ultimate cat simulator as soon as it comes out. All right, let's go ahead and snuggle and talk. There you go, Timber. Let's see how you're doing. He's about ready to... Yeah, yeah. Okay, his mom seems a little preoccupied with, like, running around and trying to, like, take on all of the farmyard animals. But Nettle seems like she's willing willing to wrestle with us until we level Timber up again. All right, come on, Timber. You're almost there. All right, yeah, look at her. Kilala is really like, I've got things to do. She does not want to let her children. Uh, let's go ahead and have the effect increased for Mark of the Owl. All right, and look at him. Oh, he's level five now. He's not a little itty bitty baby anymore. Can he get his chicken? I don't think he can get this chicken on his own. Rawr, rawr. And he, how come he doesn't have the ability yet to use the special little? Oh, and he has skill upgrades, fantastic. Um, I think we're going to give him the killer instincts. I think that he's just a little bit more of a rough and tough one. Uh, maybe has a little bit of the aggression that Thistleclaw really displayed when we had him. And Nettle. Nettle has a little bit more ability. I think I'm going to give Nettle a little bit more vitality because she really endured a lot. She really survived a lot of struggles that the family went through, especially when they were in the winter forest. So that was pretty dramatic. And then we'll jump over. Kilala, are you doing okay? Yeah, she's doing good. And let's take out a little bit more food for Timber. I wonder why... I kind of want to check. Why wasn't Timber's buff activated? Um, his roar. So... Roar! Alright, he can do his growl, and that activates that one. But his roar isn't activated yet. I wonder... I wonder why. Hmm. Hmm. Because he should have Mark of the Owl. Maybe that'll do it. Yeah, that did it. I just needed to reselect everything. Okay, well, Kilala's going to get him some more food. Easier to help him level up ourselves for sure. And there's a delicious chicken hiding over there. All right. Da -da -da -da. Come on, come through. But yeah, it's just so much fun to play as like the parent and be able to help out and just watch as they get different missions. It's just awesome. It's just so awesome. All right. Now we can growl. And they're teaching him. They're teaching him the mark of the owl so that he can use wisdom to gain more experience. So he's gaining like wisdom experience now from all of the different attacks that they're doing in the barnyard. I see a pig. <gasps> There's actually like a little a little pig pen you can get in. What? Kilala, this is awesome. I didn't know you could get her up on top of there. All right, well, let's come on in. Where'd the pig go? Hey. Hey, pigu. Oh, there it is. All right, ready for this? And let's see. It's going to probably run in another circle. And can we make her jump? And there we go. Perfect pounds. And uh, Timber, he's just sitting there already ready to eat. Did you see that? He's like, okay, there's the pig. Ready for food. Ah, wiggling. Help. All right. And come over here and eat a little bit more up. There you go. Wonderful. So we've almost made it so Timber isn't prey anymore. Isn't just about ready to just be knocked out by any, any animal that comes by. All right. We'll come over and jump. And plus, with all of the work we've been doing, uh, is that the guard dog? That is the guard dog. He does not look happy that we have been raiding his <laughs> his barnyard. So maybe we'll go this way. Um, yeah, we'll go this way for a minute and just kind of do some exploring a little bit deeper in the forest. What's over here? Uh, what the heck? Oh, it's another fox. No, I don't want to fight you. Come on, buddy. All right, come on. Don't you attack n Timber either. Come on, Timber. 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 Timber! Oh, no, you don't. Oh, my gosh. He's attacking our baby. Uh-uh. I don't think that's how it works, buddy. Uh-uh. No! Get away from Timber! Get away from Timber! Get away! Get away! I don't care if you look just like him. Timber almost died! 
Timber! Holy moly! Nettle, do you have your healing ability? Can you heal your brother, please? Oh my gosh, the healing ability definitely needs used. Definitely needs used, you guys. I can't believe this fox. It's a fox eat fox world. This fox tried to kill Timber. That is not the way we're gonna do things. Uh-uh, that's not happening. All right, Kilala, let's go ahead. We're gonna, can we send Timber back to the den? Is that something we can do? Like, tell him to go back? Or just, okay, we're gonna go back to the den and let him rest. And we're gonna make sure that this family survives, but we're here you guys We are here at this phase of their story and it has become such a rich amazing adventure Extremely because of you guys and I just can't wait to see if it ever has the same sort of following If it ever has the same sort of passion that our wolf quest adventure did when we were dashing all over the place With all of the beautiful fan art that was created with all of the amazing stories and the fanfics that would show up I have a lot of hope for the stories that we'll be able to tell in this world, and we'll definitely have to share some of them next time. So let's go ahead and jump on in, make sure the whole family shows up, and we're going to make sure that Kilala and her two surviving children get a little bit of rest, and then once that is done, we'll have to see what other adventures they get up to in the forest, and what other adventures they may get up to showing up in other games as well. So thank you guys so, 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 so much for the first season of Ultimate Fox, and we will be coming back into season two very soon. But until next time, you guys, I hope you will be thinking of lots of stories of what this little family of foxes can get up to in the forest, and just letting me know what you loved about it. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.